I mean, SpaceX says that it may be able to take humans to Mars next year. Wow. And the fastest growing work commute is uh, no commute at all. <laughs> Jane King live at the NASDAQ with the Monday Morning Business Report. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Ted Margarita. Good morning. It's more than one in 20 Americans now usually work from home. That's according to the Census Bureau. So telework has recently overtaken public transit, uh, transit as the third most popular commuting method in the country. Three and four workers, though, still uh, more than 111 million people drive alone to the office or factory every day. Well, recent government data suggests there are plenty of high paying jobs that do not require a college degree that are poised to see growth over the next decade. The number one job projected by 2028 is Carpenter. It's expected to see an increase of 80,000 jobs over the next few years. Also in the top 10, electricians, plumbers, pipe fitters, and steam fitters. And SpaceX CEO Elon Musk plans to make Texas and Florida the focal points of the new commercial space race. And he is pledging to test a prototype rocket in one to two months and then potentially send humans to space next year. Year. On the 11th anniversary of SpaceX's first orbital flight, Musk laid out his extra orbital ambitions. He not only wants to send humans to the moon and Mars, but he also wants to build a permanent base on each for repeated trips. Okay, stocks sank after reports that the White House is considering limits to U.S. investment in China. The Nasdaq down more than 1%. Uh, the White House has denied that this morning. So we're pointing to about an 80-point gain at the open. Life in the Nasdaq, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, Jane, not a bad way to start off the work week for now. We'll be sure to check back tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks, Jane.